hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the gated delatch gated delatch here gated delatch is made from sr latch gated delatch gated delatch is designed from sr latch or sr gated latch Okay, what do you mean by D? D here stands for D means D means data or sometimes also referred to as delay. Data latch or delay latch. Okay, if it is a flip-flop, data flip-flop or delay flip-flop, it is also known as data flip-flop or delay flip-flop. Okay, how it is made from SR latch? We know SR latch which we have discussed in the previous videos. So SR stands for set and reset. Set, reset. Along with this, we are also having enable pin. Okay, latch means enable pin should be definitely there. And outputs are Q, Q bar. Q and Q bar outputs. Now, SR, these are the two inputs for this set and reset. When S is equal to 0, R is equal to 0, there is no change in the output. No change in the output. That means whatever the previous stage we have, previous state Qn, the same will be the Qn plus 1. And S is equal to 1, R is equal to 1, we have, when S equal to 1, R equal to 1, we have indeterminate state. We have indeterminate state. That means the output is both q and q bar same but uh, q and q bar should not be same because one is complement to other but this is failed case s is equal to 1 or equal to 1 okay so in uh, some cases we do not use this s is equal to 0 and s is equal to r is equal to 0 or s equal to 1 or equal to 1 cases these two cases if you want to neglect then the dal d latch came into existence in D latch, these two cases were eliminated. Okay, that means we are taking a single input as D and the other input is given with the NOT gate. This is the D latch. D latch is made from SR latch by connecting a NOT gate between S and R and given a common input to D. Okay, so D is equal to 0 means, that means if in this design, if D is equal to 0, if D is equal to 0 means that internally sends the 0 to set as 0 and to reset pin as 1. See here, if it is 0, that 0 directly goes to the S and 0 will be converted, inverted into 1 and 1 will be taken as reset. Then what is the actual output for the SR flip-flop when it is 0 and 1, SR latch when it is 0 and 1? It is reset operation. Output will be reset operation. So QN plus 1 is equal to simply 0. And if D is equal to 1, if D is equal to 1, S is equal to 1. D equal to 1 means it sends S as 1 and R will be a complement of to D. So 1 will be complemented as 0 and S R is equal to 0. So S equal to 1, R equal to 0 means output will be set. That means Q N plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. That means, see here, if you observe clearly the input and output conditions, if D is equal to 0, output is equal to 0. If D is equal to 1, output is equal to 1. So, whatever the input is there, the output is also same as the input. Okay, only two possible cases are there because only one input is there. So, two combinations are there. It may be 0 or it may be 1. So, if input equal to 0, output equal to 0. If input equal to 1, output is equal to 1. That's why it is the data flip-flop. Whatever the data we have the, at the input, but we will be having the same at the output. Okay. But you have to remember 
one point that all this happens when enable is equal to one. This all two cases happens when enable is equal to one. If enable is equal to zero, this case will not happen and simply the output will be the same previous case. Output will be exactly the previous case. Okay. Now let us look into the detailed structure with the NAND gates. D latch with NAND gates. So we know there are four NAND gates needed. First two NAND gates are for controlling purpose and the second two NAND gates are memory purpose. This is the latch with Q, Q bar as outputs and input. This is, these two inputs are connected and taking as enable pin and the other inputs are connected via inverter. So this is D. Actually, if this inverter was not there, these two are separate inputs taken as S and R. Okay. So this is the NAND gate architecture of this D latch. NAND gate architecture of the D latch. So simply we can also show the D latch as this is D pin. This is enable pin. Q, Q bar. D latch. Now let us see the truth table of this one. Truth table of D latch. So what is the truth table of D latch? We are, here we are having one input as enable pin and D and QN previous state. Next state QN plus one. Okay, and this is the status of the output. Now, when enable is equal to 1, and these are the two input conditions 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, when all these happens with when enable is equal to 1, and enable equal to 0, irrespective of the present state and the past output, irrespective of the present input and past output, the output is simply the previous stage. That means uh, we can say if it is 0, if it is 0, output is 0. If enable equal to 0, irrespective of the present input, if the previous output is 1, then the output is present output is also 1. Now coming to these two conditions, when enable equal to 1, enable equal to 1 means the chip is in active, the D latch is in active state and working on the present inputs and past outputs. So when D is equal to 0, what I said when D is equal to 0, when D equal to 0 that goes and takes SR latch as 0 and 1. D equal to 0 means S equal to 0, R equal to 1. That means output will be reset, output simply 0. Output is 0. In this case also, output is 0. This is what the reset case. The first two cases will give you the reset case. And coming to the second case when D is equal to 1 and key is equal to 0. When D equal to 1, when D equal to 1 means S is equal to 1, R equal to 0. S equal to 1, R equal to 0 means it has, output is set. Set to 1. Output is set. Here it is no change state. We are taking the previous state when enable is equal to 0. Nothing but disabled. Here we need to observe one thing. When enable is equal to 1, when enable is equal to 1, 
skip is in active state the delatch is in active state but okay delatch is in delatch is in active state but irrespective of the previous output if the value of d is equal to 0 output is 0 if the value of d is equal to 1 output is 1 okay it is not depending on the previous output it is not depending on the previous output so whatever the value shown here the same will be replicated in the output here also whatever the value that comes here output is also same output is also same but with uh, what about the qn qn is of no use just we are taking that as a table but we are not have using that previous output that is the meaning of data in data flip-flop output q output is same as input when output is same as input when enable is equal to 1 okay output is same as input when enable is equal to 1 that is the data flip-flop or delay flip-flop okay we will write those statements when enable is equal to 1 if the d flip d latch has logic 1 as input then output is also a logic high and similarly when enable is equal to 1 if the d latch if the d latch has logic 0 as input then the output is also a logic 0 <coughs> or logic low but when enable is equal to 0 irrespective of d input the output is same as previous input previous output the output is same as previous output nothing but past output okay these are the two these are the three possible conditions in the d latch thank you